Alright, 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 alright. What we do have here is another episode of The Real World. Life is like a bottle of chocolate you don't want to get, but when you have it, you know it. And that's the point I'm trying to make today. The fact that is, when you have it, you know it. Just like Patrick Henry said in the Anti Federalist Papers back on June 5th, 1788. The fact is, artificial intelligence is going to be what the next, say, 100 years from now is going to control everything. We're going to have these computers that we're going to create that are going to be able to 3D print anything that they want. They're going to control, they're going to be able to process information, and they're going to be able to process 10,000 years worth of knowledge in a week. And then, the next week, they're going to learn from what they're processing wrong and be able to process it quicker. So, everything they know and understand is going to evolve exponentially. Alright, 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 alright. Hey, I believe that we've, uh, the United States has lost its leadership, and I choose not to vote for either one. So, uh, how do you feel about the, the Benghazi emails, the whole email scandal? Um, I really don't know too much about that. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Do, do you, do you, did you see the, the videos of uh, Trump uh, saying that he would grab her by the pussy? Uh, matter of fact, though, no, I didn't see that, but I've heard, uh, I've read some um, stuff in Enquirer that uh, has something to do with that, but I think he's done it before. Yeah? Um, what about Bill, do you think Bill Clinton and yes, Hillary Clinton? Yes, Bill Clinton did too. Also. Yeah, yeah. We're only human. <laughs> so, uh, so what do you think Houston would like, you know, like, uh, as a citizen, how do you think uh, Houston would feel or uh, Texas would feel about either one being up in the White House? Uh, are we kind of uh, are we are we kind of selecting a, a president that doesn't really uh, like morally have the same values as uh, what the country as a whole would? Yeah, I, I say so. So, uh, what do you think about the American politics? Is it not good, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? SBN? Again? Okay. SBN, me and you, on our camera? Yeah. So... Uh, it's for YouTube. Oh, okay. But, uh... uh I'm, I'm trying to get uh, all perspective. You know, everybody. All ethnicity. Oh, okay. uh, 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 do you have any opinions on Donald Trump? It's, it's no bien. Donald Trump has no bien. No, no. El Chapo. Mm-hmm. Sí, pero no te entiendo bien. Yo hablo más español. Yeah, me, me... Sí, uh, tú hablas español. Es pero... poquito, es poquito. Un poco. Es uh, más o menos, si no. I, I, you know, I, I could uh, escribir y uh, estudiar español, pero I can't really talk to them that well. But, uh... Yo no, yo no estoy bien. ¿Estás Ajá. ¿Sí? No, no estoy bien. No, no estoy bien. No te puedo contestar bien, porque no lo sé. Tú hablas más español, es inglés. Yeah. Tú hablas más inglés. Sí. Más o menos es español. Este, the interview is, is no bien. No, 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 no puedo platicar, hablar. It's hard to get it, our, the, 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 entiendo, our heads. No puedo, no puedo decir, no puedo explicarme. Yo también soy mexicano. Mexican. Yeah, yeah, Mexican. Yeah. As the culture is richer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You saw this? The culture is... As the Anglo-Saxon, the white man, his culture is kind of thin. It's like that, the Mexicano, the culture is in depth. Yeah. Hey, well, sir, I, I appreciate your time. Hey, gracias, senor. Okay, mi amigo. Hey, you have a good one. Vaya bien. Es, pasas. My battery is. <laughs> well, so what do you think about, uh, did you ever hear about that video of uh, her laughing at getting uh, an alleged rapist? Like, she was a lawyer, right? right. And there's a video of uh, her laughing and saying that she tried to take a polygraph test. And she ended up saying, oh, it forever destroyed my faith in polygraph tests because he, this dude raped a 12-year-old and uh, 
he had blood stains on his boxers, and she was laughing after she won the case. You know. What do you, I, well, you have to understand the the old that I'm trying to take. I understand your point, what you're saying, but uh, when you're in the business to make money, sometimes it ain't so much. A, even sometimes I'm sure some attorneys know their client is guilty. Yeah. But they're getting paid to get them off. Uh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But with a, la a lady with those kind uh, of morals shouldn't uh, be in the White House. Yeah. Well. You have, you have to look at it, you know, several ways. I mean, uh, uh, it's, hard, it's going to be very hard to find anybody that don't have something. Yeah. Even even Donald. Yeah, I, I don't, like I said, he's good with money. But still, he got a lot of stuff about where he don't throw up a lot. Of he found bankrupts a lot on the car. Yeah, yeah. And he finds all those tax loopholes. Right. But he found bankrupts in a lot of those casinos. That's how he yeah. stayed above. Filed, filed a chapter 11 on this one. Go open another one over here and continue to make money. And then on the other hand, you have to understand sometimes, like you say, she was laughing after she won the case, but it's kind of hard unless you had a, 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 a vocal of what was being said right there in the group that she was in. What was it that made her laugh? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, no, the, the video clearly demonstrates her laughing that she got a, a, a rapist uh, off. So it, it's. Uh, uh, you seen the video? Yeah. So like, so her laughing. What do you What do you think about that? And then after that, she was. She, and then, but, but then after that, she was like, "I'll never, uh, I'll never trust a polygraph test again." Yeah. And then she kind of like. Eh, eh, eh. She laughed because she'll never trust a polygraph test again because this clearly guilty guy got. A reduced sentence because of it. I mean, he didn't, he didn't even get off. Like, he had to do a plea bargain. Right, right. But where he admitted he was guilty and he went on the sex offenders registry. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know that. She was a lawyer and her client was guilty and her client told her he was guilty. And they found blood from a 12 year old that her client, like the uncle of the girl, sent it in for testing. All the evidence they had was a boxer with a hole in it. And she was like, well, this isn't actually, what proof is this? Uh, uh, so her job as that's, a defendant yeah. is to defend her right. So, so. So that's her job as to the whole test, whether he's guilty or innocent. Her job is to prove he's innocent. Yeah. Not just that, but like when they initially gave her the, the um, case, she was like, I don't want this. But the guy, was like, he insisted on a female uh, attorney. So how do you know she she wasn't lying whenever she said she didn't want that? Like, she could have just said that. Why would she lie about that? But she lied about all the emails. And they're showing all those servers and then like like bleaching her hard drive. She was like, what do you bleach your hard drive with? You just wipe it whenever it's actually a software that, you know? Yeah, yeah she's, well, she's kind of manipulative. That Hillary Clinton herself was involved in using bit, um, yeah, what, bit Yeah, whatever, yeah. Like she told someone, clean my server, and they did it. No, yeah, but, but, but then that, if you drive someone away from a crime... You know, like like if someone robs a bank and you're the driver, it's kind of like the same. Well, I, I think I, I think they made uh, too much out of the email deal for the simple fact that if it's on her email or some government email, either one of them is happening. So it's not like it's a crime. I think the bigger story is the fact that the FBI has been investigating her and they've gone into it and they have found nothing that they can indict. Well, but that's because. The Clinton Foundation, or Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, probably put a target on the FBI director, James Comey, or I think that's how you pronounce his name, but they probably put a target on his head saying, you know, you, you back, don't prosecute Hillary Clinton. Well, I think pretty much. I mean, that's what I think. I think that I was telling you a few minutes ago about Bill Clinton, I think people don't understand the respect that he, that he gets around the world, not just here in America. Anything associated with him. Oh, yeah, wait, but he's rich he and cares, powerful. Well, not just rich, he cares a lot of clout. He gave a lot of respect in prison. You know what I'm saying? He's one, about one of the only prisoners that can go anywhere in the world and he's wet. Well, well, yeah, no, 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 but because Bill Clinton's a, a cool dude in a way, you know, like, like, yeah, he's, he's pretty but fucking he cool. They didn't just give it to him because he's a cool dude. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, did you see the the part where uh, Trump bought, brought in all those alleged victims of rape? You know, did you see Bill Clinton's face whenever he brought them in? And did you? I didn't see his face, but I imagine he was quite embarrassed. Yeah, he looked like pretty shocked. I bet it's and, a similar face to the one Trump's got right now with all the media coverage covering the people that did. But they're only bringing up like verbal allegations, you know, like, he's, like, like they're coming up and saying that Trump's done things, and he's claiming that they're lying, and then they'll, they'll literally like he has a video where he talks about going into the Miss America dressing room and staring at them all while they're naked. And now he gets to do that because he's the owner. And then one of the contestants, Miss Arizona, spoke up, and she was like, "Hey, he did this." And then Donald Trump said she was lying. No, I, there's literally video where he claims to do what she said he was doing. Well, I mean, yeah. People that he is about. Have you also seen that video where uh, he says, but he said that he said he would date his own daughter if uh, if it wasn't his daughter or some shit like that. So he kind of just basically did what he wanted to do. But now in the political ring, it's a whole different. Because everything you did is under the spotlight versus being virtual. And another thing, too, though, is, is Hillary Clinton ha has a past, like whether or not it's her or her husband running. Right, that's her husband, right? And her husband has all these allegations amongst him, and and she's running as president. But but she's also been into politics for like over eight years, probably over twelve years. And Trump hasn't been into politics, so like, so we're construing this image of a a, a misogynistic businessman who who his his he made a living by being a businessman. You know, he wasn't a politician, so not he didn't necessarily have to have a, a clean reputation, you know, like, like, like Trump didn't, like, Trump doesn't have to be that, uh, conservative. Trump, right? No, I think it does too, but. I, I think it says that I that's think, his I, I that think that, that uh, I think, I think that what the Republican Party did, was they let Trump come in with his money and bully the whole party, and to nominate him as, as uh, president, because, come on, man, you know there was other people in there. Yeah. That was a whole lot more qualified than Donald Trump. Come on now. They let him come in and bully them with his money and his schedule. It's all to them. It's all to them. Because they have a chance to vote for a third party, which is kind of like a vote against the system, you know? It, it, it's kind of like a, like a vote against... Yeah, I would, I would appreciate a call back because, uh, you know, the, it seems like uh, most media outlets today have their own agenda and aren't really just spreading exactly, you know, like what's actually happening. So it'd be cool if Fox 26 actually put this out here. Well, I, I work for those media outlets, and I, I don't have any agenda. I know oh. people who work here, they don't have an agenda. But I know everybody likes to say that. But anyway, well, I, I work for those media outlets, and I, I don't have any agenda. I know oh. people who work here, they don't have an agenda. But I know everybody likes to say that. But anyway, uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Well, I figure their bosses might have an agenda. But yeah, I would appreciate that. So uh, yeah, you can give me a, give me a call back or check out that YouTube channel. I will. All right, you have a good one, babe.